Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick shot. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. It's just a brief look at a G.I. Joe action figure. Since we are rounding out the year of the 90s, I'm going to do a quick shot of a G.I. Joe toy every day for the rest of the year. We're starting with the 1993 Cobra Bat, that's B-A-A-T for Battle Armored Android Trooper. This is like the next generation of the Battle Android Trooper. This iteration of the Cobra Bat was in the Star Brigade sub-team, and it is an Armor Tech figure. The Armor Tech figures are these big, clunky figures with reduced articulation. These extra-wide Armor Tech figures are wearing armored space battle suits. But this is an android, so it's not really wearing a spacesuit. He's really just an extra large robot with limited articulation. Most of the accessories for the Cobra BAAT came on a plastic tree, so they're all the same color. The exception is the missile launcher that attaches to the arm. The other accessories are all yellow. Those accessories included a yellow version of the submachine gun that came with Voltar and a yellow version of the laser gun that came with Sci-Fi version 2, a yellow version of the submachine gun that came with Snake Eyes version 3, a yellow version of the laser pistol that came with Iron Grenadier, and a yellow version of the knife that came with Hydro Viper. The Cobra Bat also had a yellow figure stand and two yellow missiles that fit in his red missile launcher. The missile launcher is in red plastic. It connects under the arm. It just slides on and it can slide on either arm. So you can have that on the left arm or the right arm. The missile launcher itself has some decent detail on it. And of course it will really fire. The missile is not powerful enough to knock down the Cobra Bat, but I bet it will knock down Dr. Mindbender. Let's just place another missile into the launcher. Just slide a missile into the barrel until it clicks. And then take aim. And the trigger is in the back and fire. The Battle Armored Android Trooper itself is pretty basic. Uh, it has only three colors, black, white, and red. It's, uh, it looks pretty good, though. It looks like a robot, and that's what it is. Even though it's a decent-looking robot, I'm not a big fan of these Armor Tech figures because of the reduced articulation, which makes them less playable. That was my brief look at the 1993 Cobra Battle Armored Android Trooper. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will be bringing you quick shots of 90s G.I. Joe toys every day for the rest of the year which is just a few more days. Let's finish out this crazy year of 2020 together with some 90s G.I. Joe toys. I'll see you next time, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.